On behalf of all participants, I welcome Anandji for this program. So let us enjoy this program today. Uh, we can have an interesting discussion, questions and answers. We can ask anything okay, on this area. A yeah, free discussion can be there here. This will be the most advantage and then uh, interesting advantage also in this program, as you have seen in the past. So those who want to raise the, I mean, ask the question or say, have a discussion with Adam, kindly use the option of uh, raise your hand. That would be better. Okay, Sanjay ji has come. He has come from Rajasthan. I'm giving unmute to him. Okay. So he has come in a natural, uh, colorful condition. Nice. Mm -hmm. your, uh, outside your garden. <laughs> Looks very nice. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Inside the house. Yes. Yeah, that's nice. yeah. Hello. Anandji. Namaskar. Yeah. Hi. Hi, Sanjay, sir. Yeah. So I actually, I think I understand the things intellectually but then again uh, at times there is a a thought comes that uh, okay maybe this teaching is not enough and then there is a compulsive need to check other non-duality books or zen or buddhism or anything and then uh, again a thought comes that okay this desire is also natural so uh, that's it. I mean, I can answer the questions myself, but that doesn't really uh, solve it. I, I know that uh, the answer would be that, okay, if that also comes, then that is also okay. <laughs> yeah. True. Actually, uh, there is nothing to solve here because by habit, because we have formed the a habit for you know so many years you know 20 years 15 years whatever it has been so you will naturally go tend towards that way try to check something else because the basic reason is um, there is nothing special or attractive here right because we're not giving any special we're not talking about any special experiences or some special powers attaining some special powers or anything like that so it is quite natural that you know other things may look attractive and you may uh, feel that you may want to check out and all that so that is fine you can you know if you just want to read and understand that is fine but i think for the initial period if i suggest because just to avoid some confusion that's all you know otherwise you will keep on uh, trying to compare how is this which you know what is what is said in this concept and what is in this concept how is it related etc but uh, yeah i mean a healthy this healthy analysis a healthy debate and all yes that is all needed so that you can be clear about all things so you no know, you can be completely clear on the concept and you can be completely clear on what is happening inside so if it is useful in that way if it helps you yes i mean you can do that no need to get worried about that is what i'm trying to say yeah i mean i think that most of the time when i ask so when i'm going to ask questions i also know the answer <laughs> at the same time yeah. that uh, as for this concept this is going to be the answer that is good yeah that is true but uh, then again there is uh, that feeling is there that okay something is missing that doesn't yeah. go away that feeling and then i know that okay that feeling is also natural so uh, it is natural and also habitual because we've always been told or taught from our uh, beginning to achieve success you know achieve something successfully do something so that's what we've always been taught you know achieve some goal so that's how we do it in the external world so we try to expect the same here also we want to achieve something and we want to succeed and see some uh, specific you know attain some specific goal inside so it's habitual that's the natural a part of it so we don't need to worry about it because here um, you can even try sometimes you know what i will suggest is you can even try trying controlling your mind or try changing your emotions or you know if you feel that you need something you can try creating that try generating some emotions or generating creating some thoughts on your own as per your wish 
you can try all those combinations and all that because finally we should come to our, uh, an, an understanding that uh, there is no responsibility that i have in the psychological sense so that understanding you have to that point you have to arrive at so to arrive at that point whatever experiment that you want to do it is absolutely fine that experiment which you are saying that uh, creating emotions and thoughts i i understand that emotions i cannot create but thoughts i am able to create though i am not able to sustain it for long but uh, i can create some thoughts and uh, for some time i may be able to hold it them also yeah so, so that uh, experiment doesn't like cut the root of that yeah so temporarily you will be able to do that that is called thinking as i think we already discussed this point so if you are able to do means that is called thinking right you are purposefully thinking about something so i'm not talking about the thinking portion i'm talking about thoughts portion right we are talking about thoughts which come up on their own and the emotions and feelings which come up on their own not the in the, in that case we are just uh, uh, kind of playing with the words because we are saying that thought is what comes up on its own Yes. So then, by definition, I cannot create. It. Yes. Because when I am able to create it, then you are labeling it as thinking. So yes. So that's a that is a, I mean that is a, a double wind situation because uh, by definition you have excluded that uh, thought is something that you cannot create. So that in that case, that experiment loses its uh, purpose. Yeah. Because if we can create it, then it will be labeled as thinking. Correct. so uh, so you should include thoughts emotions feelings whatever in that category so for example what is our problem what are we actually looking for so like as you said now some time back uh, you said uh, that fulfillment or satisfaction you know something is missing right that's what you were saying yeah that's right huh. yeah so that is an emotion right emotion or thought can categorize into one of that right it could hmm. be you can say it is a thought or it could be an emotion that you're feeling that uh, dissatisfaction emotion whatever right So, yeah it is an emotion it cannot yeah. be changed yeah so it is there correct so and what are you actually trying to do by asking this question you want to change that right you want to change that and achieve some satisfaction achieve that satisfaction level so that's the target that's the ask of your question right mm -hmm. yeah so that is what we are saying that you cannot do anything if you start doing it will only backfire you will only disturb the whole flow so so this questioning that you know whether um, i'll be able whether questioning or trying to achieve this self satisfaction or uh, you know this uh, state of satisfaction or fulfillment so that is the problem that is what we have been saying right mm -hmm. that questioning itself is not needed is what we are saying we can simply allow everything and then focus on our external activities we don't need to question this psychological system because it is not under our control even if you try to question and reason it out it's not going to listen to us Mm -hmm. that is the problem right and where is the problem yeah. here is thinking is not a problem right thinking is not a problem whether you create or not create so that is not the point the what is the the core idea here is so these thoughts and emotions you wanted some specific thoughts and emotions right you wanted this satisfaction you wanted this fulfillment after understanding this concept right right and it is not happening so that is the problem right thinking is not at all a problem whether you call it as thinking or thought or labeling whatever you call that is not at all a problem right problem is only when when you expect certain emotions and thoughts but it is not happening in reality in your psychological system that is where you have a challenge right other things are not yeah. at all a challenge you don't even have to discuss you can take it whichever way you want so this challenge only comes when there is a mismatch between your expectation and reality in the psychological system right so and what we are saying is you don't have you don't expect because your expectation is the problem here if you start expecting something some special feeling here then you will start you will again go against it right this is the reality and your expectation is here it is in tangent to the reality so then you will there will be always a clash and that will create friction and friction will lead to conflict and conflict will lead to some kind of restlessness or lack of dissatisfaction and peace etc so that is what we are trying to avoid by not fighting with the reality so things will flow on its own It will not disturb the natural flow then there will be naturally that peace or calmness and satisfaction will settle in on its own you have to allow that to settle in if you keep disturbing 
uh, that natural flow then it will not happen that's the that's how it is mm -hmm. can you i have, choose uh, not to, yeah you cannot can I have choose not to, can i choose not to expect yeah don't you don't have any choice you don't choose anything even if it expect that expectation is happening beyond your control beyond your limit then allow that you know let it be there what is the problem so ultimately it comes to that nothing can be done exactly yeah that is what is the point we have to come to then only you will stop your actions right if you if you as long as you think that there is something which can be done then you will be you will start fighting against the nature fighting in the sense you will try to correct the nature then you will be in problem you will be in the same cycle so when only when you stop your actions then you will allow the nature to flow on its own path on its own pace and on its own flow so that is exactly the point that we want to, we want you to arrive at so don't take any action so it, it's fact in fact lot of people uh, misunderstand that this inaction they because from the from our birth we have been always taught something to achieve something to act on in the external world for example so we consider this inaction also we we take it in the term as an action you know people like you know we may be thinking as to how how do i not act you know, how do i practice this inaction how do i practice and make sure that i don't act so that's the kind of uh, mentality or that's the kind of feeling question people might have right whereas it is it is not the inaction means not doing anything no practice if you try to practice then you are doing some action there whereas inaction is the opposite of it no action needed no action to be done just simply accepting as is as it is right now however it is in the psychological system simply accepting as it is that is what is called inaction and that is exactly we are suggesting here not trying to do something and trying to create that inaction here don't not do any action at all not to interfere in this psychological system at all is the suggestion given here Okay, thank you, Anjay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, thank you very much, Anjay. Um, I'll be waiting you. My connection from Nigeria is waiting. I am Anmuti. So you can, yes, you can join for a discussion. Good evening, Anandaya. Yeah. Good evening, yes. Bablalaya. Yeah. yeah, good evening. Hi. Yeah. Hi, good evening. Okay, good evening, Aya. Yeah. Uh, I was one one question was coming on my mind last time when we were discussing you told to you have put four question on us actually I, uh, this thought in what based on the situation can you able to bring your whatever wish thought whatever thought you can do you want able to bring it uh, you actually requested to test it out and the emotion whatever is a whether it is a good emotion or bad emotion you told uh, to test it out but this testing out is a real uh, a real thing uh, actually so it is impossible for that uh, because uh, every situation we face in in a physical world it is totally a different one new one it can never be a old one so in that the, the the response of from the mind also it has to be a new it has to be a new one only so we cannot uh, able to sustain any thought or any emotion that is a true fact uh, what you are uh, saying but it, this understanding you know this, uh, when we uh, you as you said do do testing that will help everybody yeah. actually I, i don't know some of some of the new persons are joining here so if can uh, they can also understand this so these four question uh, you can tell again to the some of them some some people are new people are joining here and another thing is that uh, last time also i i don't know how when i asked the question uh, hello yeah please yeah the internet going to be disconnected maybe yeah it is going to be okay yeah okay. this uh, actually i i because of... oh, you <coughs> migration you are, you continue i think he got disconnected i think he got predicted <laughs> okay then fine let us uh, mute him for some time yeah okay then uh, madam tamil rasi she has come from Lalgudi from Tamil Nadu. I am Anjuti. Sure. Uh, yes. Good evening, sir. Mm. Good evening, sir. Tamil Rasi from Lalgudi. 
Sir, sir, how can we get internal silence? This is my question, sir. Okay. So, have you uh, read up, read any of these books, madam? Or uh, I joined them? on spiritual class, sir. Okay. Human Universal Energy class. No, so about this concept. Are, uh, have you gone through any concept? of the books? Uh, yes, sir. Okay. I read, sir. I read. You've read, is it? Okay. okay so, sir. just to summarize, just to give a brief summary of this concept. So, what we are saying here is. Um, there is a psychological system which is called mind. So, okay, for example, if you take our body, there are two types of functions. One is the automatic function, like your heartbeat, your blood pressure, blood flow inside all the organs, and then your breathing, which happens every moment. So all these are happening without your knowledge or without your control, right? All these are happening automatically. All these digestion process, liver functioning, everything, right? This is one type of function. The other type of function is the manual function where you go and do it like walking, running, doing your work, cooking, etc. All of that this is your manual work. You decide what to do and what not to do. That is up to your choice. So similarly, mind also has two portions, two such functions. One is the automatic function, which is what we call as thoughts or emotions or feelings, which come up on their own. You cannot decide because I may be seeing here or I may be seeing some, uh, some, something like a phone or some TV, etc. But my mind may be, moment I see something, my mind may be going somewhere else. My thoughts may be traveling somewhere else. I don't have any control on that, right? These are all automatic. It doesn't ask for my permission to think, you know, what thought should come or what emotion should come. Depending on the situation, depending on my nature of how I deal with that, automatically some thoughts and emotions will keep on arising. I don't have any control on that. There is another portion is what is called thinking where you can think and plan your activities, right? For example, you have to go to office means you can think and plan what time I should get up, what time I should be ready, you know, how do I go, what vehicle I should use, all of that, right? So this is the second part, which is thinking. So that's how we are differentiating in the mind also. One is the thought portion, which is automatic, then the thinking portion, which is manual. In this automatic portion, we don't have any control, is what we are saying. When you said, uh, when you said how to be silent, Silence is an emotion, right? Or whatever, that emotion or thought. So you cannot decide, you cannot demand mind and ask, you know, how can I be silent or please be silent. You cannot give any command to the mind. That is exactly what we are saying here. So if you allow it to settle, it will settle and it will come to a balanced state on its own. It is like, for example, if you take a water a bowl and pour water in it, if you touch it, you know the water is still and then if you touch that water then there will be it will create some disturbances right it will create some ripples on them so how do i these ripples is what i i'm equating that to the emotions or all the negative thoughts and emotions that you dislike that you don't want to right here inside so if you if those ripples how do i stop these ripples if you keep doing something then the ripples will only grow again and again it will only get magnified again and again the disturbance will never end how do I stop this? By just taking my hand and sit back and relax. Not touch at all, not do anything at all. That is when these ripples will settle down on its own and come to a balanced state on its own. Same thing is what is happening here in mind. If you simply sit, sit back, not do anything related to mind, not even think about, you know, how do I correct it or how to bring in silence, how to remove my anger, how to remove or get rid of my sorrows, worries, all this is you're acting against the natural flow of mind. All this means that you're acting against the natural flow. If you stop this action, if you stop acting against this natural flow, then things will come to a balanced state on its own. That ripples, you know, it will settle on its own. It will settle on its own pace and it will come to a balanced state. Then once it comes to a balanced state, then once there is no friction between what you want uh, how you expect your mind to function and how it reality how it functions in reality if there is no disconnect between these two then naturally there will be no friction no conflict peace will uh, be there automatically so that is what we are suggesting here that's how we can that's the concept which we are talking about here uh, you want to ask any question uh, yes sir yes sir yeah please uh, please uh, yes, sir uh, integration of body mind and soul integration of body mind and soul gives wisdom and enlightenment to us mm -hmm. what is the understanding sir what yeah. is your understanding about this sir? Yeah. 
so here in this uh, i mean how do we define enlightenment here is just the simple scientific understanding and intellectual understanding a logical way of understanding things is what we define as enlightenment here simply understanding that our intelligence or you don't have any role to play in our mind in the thoughts and emotions in that portion you don't have any role to play once you come to this understanding on your own you should come to this understanding and you should be able to agree and accept that then once you come to that understanding that is what we call as enlightenment right so here for this concept at least we don't need the, we are not looking at any other body soul you know all that in harmony etc maybe those are all part of some yoga practices and all that could be but as far as this concept is concerned just a simple intellectual understanding is is just sufficient and that is how we have understood this concept and not just me there are hundreds of others who have understood this concept and got you know excellent benefits out of this and our lives have got completely transformed so so that is definitely possible here okay so according to your understanding sir enlightenment means thoughtless condition okay sir uh, not thoughtless condition okay coming to a decision coming to a conclusion that i don't have any role to play here okay just to give you an example uh, suppose if somebody presses the calling bell the button of your house then you have to go there and receive the guest right right this is your responsibility you have to go there and do that work but if somebody presses the calling bell of the next house neighboring house then you don't have any role to play here right you don't have any responsibility to act so same way what we are understanding here is this mind these thoughts and emotions i don't have any role to play because it comes on its own and it's also subsides on its own so we don't have any role to play i don't even have to attend i don't even have to respond to it so simply we can ignore and if you sit back and not don't take any action against it then it will flow on its own and it will settle come to a balanced state on its own this understanding is what we call as enlightenment okay okay Uh, one minute you are already muted yourself i will unmute and mute tamara rasi i think she says she's okay uh, it's okay or uh, you want to ask question okay she says okay okay she, she said okay is it okay if she wants let her come uh manju manju ji i am giving unmute to you you please tell where are you calling from we get recorded here yes manju ji hello sir good evening good evening sir, where I are you calling from listen. yes sir sir i am from uttar pradesh saharanpur i am speaking okay uttar pradesh hello? yeah nearer to lucknow yes, sir. क्या सर व्हाट या फॉर इट इज़ फ्रॉम लखनऊ सर इट इज सो मच फार आई आई थिंक इट विल आई डोंट नो द डिस्टेंस बट इट विल टेक द वन नाइट टू दैट बी फोर हंड्रेड फाइव हंड्रेड किलोमीटर चलिए 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 आई डोंट नो द एग्जैक्ट डिस्टेंस ठीक है ठीक है चलिए यू कैन आंस द क्वेश्चन टू गुरु जी Are you able to please? Hello, sir. Yeah, yes, yeah, we are, we are able to hear. You please continue. Yes, sir. Sir, I'm having one question. Sir, I'm uh, like my thought is not stable. Uh, like one day. Manjushi, your uh, audio. On my family. Uh, uh, one minute, uh, Manjushi. What is? what is happening is your audio is getting disturbed what you do is you stop sir, sir. your video let us have only audio then it will be better because of the uh, net network issues no you understood one minute uh, unmute i'm giving unmute you also give unmute there no no tension do it freely calmly manju ji i'm giving unmute you also do it 
Hello, hello, sir. Are you able to get? Yeah, we are able to hear. What you do is, you have got a video that you just stop it. Stop video is there not at the bottom? You able to do? Please, please, please. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Ah, chali, chali. Sir, are you able to get? Yeah, yeah, we are able to hear. You sir. please talk. Ji, ji, sir. Hello, sir. Um, as I wanna. And like uh, one day, I'm so I'm able to concentrate on my things, on my work, on my study, and um, I'm able to um, um, I'm able to you know, like spend a good time with my family. But like after two days, um, my situation is not good. My thoughts is not stable, and my um, like uh, I'm so much distressed, and I'm so much stressed. And um, for like overcoming from that situation, I'm um, I'm um. um uh, I'm listening so much spiritual speech, spiritual words, sir. But what I do to stable my situation, please, sir. I uh, please, sir, guide me. Okay, sure. So I think uh, maybe you have not read these books or have you watched any of these videos about this concept, sir? Uh, sir, I, मतलब uh, I'm very new about okay. your man. about about you i did not watch before anything i i came to know about um, you uh, through my one friend so okay. sir by here um, sir you guide me please what i do sure so what i will suggest is i think um, i'm not sure did you listen when i was explaining i was just giving a summary of the concept to the previous participant were you able to listen yes sir i'm i, I came now only okay. i just joined now okay so what we are saying is uh, the psychological portion of your mind i mean the psychological portion which is we call as mind these thoughts and emotions and feelings so that portion is not under our control right mind has two two portions two different functions one is the automatic function wherein all these thoughts and emotions come up on their own right you don't decide you no know, can you give a command to the mind and tell that you know next after fifth minute i should have this thought in the seventh minute i should have this thought and emotion can you give such command to the mind no sir no. obviously i can't right yeah so the problem with this the whatever depression or struggle that you are talking about is only because you are fighting against the natural flow there is a there is a gap between what is actually happening in reality and what is your expectation of how it should happen right there is always a gap there is a clash right you are in clash with what is happening in reality so as long as you are in clash you are in conflict there will be a friction which will get created and that will be always you will feel that restlessness or disturbance inside right if there is if there is a clash and friction happening inside then obviously you, you will not be able to peaceful you will not be peaceful there will be always that restlessness dissatisfaction uh, frustration whatever so all these are various words to call it basically it is pain that's all it's an emo painful emotion you can give whatever words sir, you want whatever. yeah uh, sir but, but i'm trying to overcome from that situation because as what i'm doing i'm not happy with that so sir matlab for doing better and for doing my things better i'm i'm doing but the things is not going good with me so that's why i'm distressed and you are telling that yeah i'm in that situation but what i do i need the solution yeah. what so, i do to get rid from that yeah sure so um, what i suggest is uh, i'll probably maybe you can leave the number or you can take my number i'll send you some books i think you can go through those books because that will give you some basic idea about this concept i think once you go through that you will get a little bit of basic understanding then i think we can discuss and uh, see if you have any questions and all because without that this is the summary i just try to give you a 2 minute uh, summary of what is this concept about but in, if you want to go through in detail then that will be more useful to you because otherwise you know you may not be able to understand uh, how you know what so, is the concept that we talking about so, so what i um, what i have to do which i have to yeah. going through yeah so maybe yeah i think my number is displayed uh, can okay, you see sir. my number ji ji sir yes yeah. sir so you can take down and maybe give a message i'll send you the books or books and then you can go through and then get a okay, basic sir. understanding and then you can probably 
ask them questions if required. Okay, sir. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. You have noted down. Uh... Yes, sir. I take the sc screenshot. Okay. Yes, sir. I did. Fine. See, uh, the problem what you are facing, no? Yes, sir. This can be easily overcome. Okay. It needs okay. little understanding. Okay. Okay, sir. So, I will work surely. Yeah, maybe the reading of that book and talking to Mr. Anand one or two times will give hundred percent solution to you. Correct. And Manju, you, thank you. Yeah, and Manju, Anji. just to just to confirm, I mean, just to give you some confirmation, lot of such people who have got similar problems have got uh, clarified, and they are all you know benefited so much, and uh, they are they are all happy now. So I'm sure, as okay, Babu Lal sir said, that you will be able to uh, successfully achieve that. Yes, sir. I will be very much grateful if I will get that solution of my problem. Okay, sure, thank sure. You, you just have to be open-minded and be ready to experiment. That's the only requirement. Yes, sir. I'm ready for. Okay. okay thank you, sir. I'm happy you will get the solution very quickly. So I have given the number. Be in touch with him, so you will get all the input to you. And then uh, keep in touch with him. You will get the good solution. Okay. Surely I will, sir. Thank you. Thank you. It's, it's nice that you have come from UP uh, with uh, your friend's uh, uh, recommendation. Yeah. I'm very happy from uh, on this view. Okay. So you can also share with it's your uh, classmates, friends, those who are suffering like this. Okay. The solution will be same. Yeah, surely, sir. I will. Yes, sir. Surely. And it's a great pleasure for me that I came back about this session. Okay. Thank you, sir. So, okay, sir. Fine. Thank you. Okay. I'm muting you now. Thank you very much. Okay, sir. Okay. Thank you, sir. Mute. Mute. Oh, mute. Okay. Uh, Prem Kumar from Chidambaram. He has come. So I'm giving a mute. Hello, yes, Prem Hello. good Kumar, evening, sir. Now. Yeah, good evening, Anand, sir. Yes, good evening, sir. Um, very happy to see you. Yeah, same uh, actually, I'm having two questions, sir. Hello? Yes, yes, sir, go ahead. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the thing is like, uh, I'm, I can able to understand the concept of Bhagavata yeah, and applying on my uh, real life and I'm very happy right now. The thing is like, sometime I used to get uh, over excited because it is working very well. I'm super excited to uh, execute these uh, concepts. Sometime what happening, I used to do unconsciously double, matlab, multitasking at the same time. For example, listening songs and doing workouts or doing two tasks at the same time. After some time, I realized that my all energy is stuck, means it is stuck. I mean, uh, it's went out. By doing multitasking, I, I'm feeling I'm suffering now. So how can I reduce the multitasking? That is my first question, sir. Okay. So when you're saying multitasking, why are you suffering? Because you are able to do it successfully, right? What is the suffering there? Yeah, I can able to do at that time. Then after once I complete the work, I feel like I'm, I'm matlab, uh, energy wise, I'm feeling very low and I'm not stable. Right now I can basically, sir, what is the thing is like I used to think about what is thought, what is thinking and all I can able to separate. Mm -hmm. But after doing multitasking, I'm, I can't able to do. I'm feeling so much lazy type. This multitasking makes me trouble. But how can I handle this? Because I'm a student right now. Okay. So, okay. So, this emotional low, your feeling low is again an emotion. So, that's how it is, right? Feeling low or feeling tired psychologically, not physically, right? So, you don't have to, uh, you said you were trying to differentiate between divide this thought and thinking and all that, right? So, all that is not needed. See, why do we need all this thought and thinking? This analysis is only required for analysis to understand this whole system that's all you don't need to do it in real time you know whether i am I in, is it thought or am i just thinking now what should i do so all this is not required in reality you just have to react to the 
external situation whatever activity is happening you just have to simply react and and get involved in that situation you don't need to think about whether it is thought or thinking this is only for analysis to understand the system right okay so okay, you don't need to get confused about all that so and second thing is even if it happens beyond your control you know you have decided that yes i am not going to think about this but still these thoughts come up again on, on its own right this feeling okay, tired yeah. feeling low or uh, trying to do multitasking etc you have decided okay. something as per your yeah. external condition but still it comes yeah. up so that is also yeah. a thought you don't have to worry don't don't take responsibility for that and don't try to respond and and don't feel that you know why is this coming to me how do i rectify it no then again you are owning that uh, those emotions and thoughts you know th- you are thinking that you are creating that is why you you want to solve right, right? yeah yeah will you are you, will you try to solve my problem my family problems will you try to solve my family problems no right no, you will only no, no. so when you are trying to solve something then which means you have taken it as your problem so that is where okay the, yeah uh-huh. you are considering it as your problem that is okay. the problem so there is we don't have any role to play don't even don't be responsible for any psychological problems whether it is emotion being feeling low or sorrow whatever okay. name you give finally if it is psychological then you don't have to take any responsibility if it happens on its okay. own let it happen even the taking okay. responsibility also is happening in spite of your decision and understanding allow that also let it happen that's all okay sir sir uh, again i want to repeat that uh, i'm a student so in that case we used to have some task to do on that day yeah. this emotional things is destroying the task which we desired to do there i feel that i'm failing over there because we used to do by keeping task and complete the works so these emotional things makes us postponing the our task so it's makes us feel down uh, okay. i mean am i right sir yeah so the problem here is again you are looking for a perfect mind mindset or a perfect emotional yes. uh, set of emotions for you to work in the external world to study or exactly. to, yeah so that is not possible that is what we are saying right don't expect no. the mind to settle and then do do your work if you get it is okay. like you know you are expecting the uh, waves in the sea to settle and then you go for swimming no that is not going that to happen right that is you not want possible to and, yeah you just simply go and swim you focus should not be on am i now correct am i peaceful are the emotions perfect now are the waves settled down so you should you are focusing on here actually the focus should be yes yes this side turn your direction right yes. your focus should be here on this side towards external actions not towards yes. here you don't turn the lens here and start focusing here and trying to see am i now emotionally balanced am i perfect now am i happy now okay now i'll go and work no that is not what we are saying right don't turn this yes. lens here at all here okay. however it be let it go however bad it be you know don't be even bothered our focus okay. you should turn the lens toward the external actions only you should focus on your external actions only so once you slowly okay. focus give more attention more focus there obviously okay. there there is only 100% right if your percentage of focus increases in the outside world now probably just for an example i am saying 50% focus is here and 50% is in the external actions if you start okay. increasing the focus more and more 60 70 80 then the focus okay. will also come down here accordingly right it will become 30 20 oh. 10 so then you will not be even bothered you will simply be worried about how do i study what should i do next what subject i should study how do i you know you will start thinking about ideas about how do i prepare well how do i work better in the external world so you will be start focusing on that that's what i will suggest okay 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 nice sir nice sir yeah. this means uh, if i focus completely on external work automatically this internal problem will be is d- dissolved means ah, it be- will be invisible correct because you are now you are trying to put a lens and see what is happening every moment you are trying to see am i correct or okay. not am i wrong am i correct am i doing things correctly am i following okay. this concept which is taught here so you are trying to check every minimum every moment but the point is yes. we don't need to check once you understand you just simply allow it to do as it is allow it to flow as it is then your focus should be on the external world actions only okay sir yeah? uh, thank you so much anyway, sir my have, last you question you have my number right i mean you I mean if you want uh, later any time you can just give me a call with the actual real time examples then we can maybe go through in detail yeah yeah also. sure sure sir uh, yes sir i just noted out sir sure. already when uh, you shown for that manju ma'am yeah. i have noted out 
So, sir, 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 can I ask my last final question? Yes, yes. Uh, sir, uh, people are telling um, in ancient people uh, that books they used to tell sleeping four hours is more sufficient for human beings. Um, for example, like uh, when we have a deep sleep, mm -hmm. that for four hours it is more sufficient. We can work for 20 hours, no issues, they are telling. Is it possible, sir? Yeah, that is my understanding as well. I think when uh, there are uh, people talking about health, uh, people like Umar Faru, Keelar Bhaskar and all I've heard, yes, they are yeah, also yeah, yeah. talking about the same lines only. You, know? yeah, okay. you can go through them. Yes, that should be true in my view as well. Okay. If that would be the truth, then I can <laughs> I can do little more fast than my work, sir. So just try to confirm. Yeah, yeah, I think you should probably go through those videos and the concepts and try to understand, grasp it in a proper manner. Okay. Oh, Umar Farooq, are you also uh, having this kind of ideology, sir? Yeah, yeah, similar. Almost all these will be very similar. Okay, I will check it out the YouTube video, sir. Yeah. Then fine, fine. Thank you so much, sir. Yeah. Hey, okay, Prem, I'm uh, muting you now. Good. Uh, Venkatesh from Nigeria again has come. Now oh, I'm giving yeah. unmute to you. Yeah, internet was disconnected again. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. It's connected back. As but how did you predict that your internet, internet is going down? That was very fine. For all of us, it slashes <laughs> in a second. Uh, yes, yes. Uh, because I'm connecting you with the company net, so immediately this was power went up. Immediately I entered it. Understand it. Okay, okay, okay. okay, okay. Uh, okay please, yeah. please carry please, uh, First things we were discussing about that, uh, you put a core question on uh, everybody. That uh, that uh, pointed. I don't know whether you reply it or not. I don't know, sir, because I disconnected, sir. Okay. So uh, the, the other question is: uh, One day was my own mix, own understanding. I want to share it. Uh, suddenly happened to me one day when I was suddenly when my water was there in my pot. So my face was there very clearly. I was able to see my face on the under uh, in the in the pot in under the down. But you know, I put my hand and rotated still, still very well. My face was incompletely disappeared, but I'm here. My image is not in the in the water. But uh, after some time, when the water completely naturally settled down, my my face was able to express itself naturally. That is why my understanding from there, I what I was getting, it is also like our mind is also like that. When we don't disturb all the, these things, it our mind naturally comes to and express natural uh, state. That is why my understanding I got it from there. Is it? True, uh, is it correct? Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. So basically, it is uh, when you stop acting on it, then there is no friction. Your your entire energy, your entire effort is available to be spent on your external activities. So that's the whole point, right? You're not, you're no more struggling with your mind, with your psychological portion here. Your entire focus is available for your external work. You can be much more efficient in your external work that way. Yeah, that is very clear. Yeah. Yeah. But other thing that what Premko are asking, now all the discussion when we are coming and we are hearing, eh, you, are, you are saying the, the concept very clearly. Yeah. But the issue is coming is that, that inaction, yeah. that what is mean by really what is mean by inaction. Yeah. That is where the core issue, I feel it, that core issue, it is there. Because we are having everybody who program, wherever who read it, they get intellectual understand, understanding. Yeah. But when, we, when they come to a practical reality, when what is mean by inaction, that is where again we go back and fight with the psychological factor. We go back and then do do action again. That is where we, I am. I am getting whatever we are all the discussion. So that when we able to understand, I, I cannot say we, we can we can say when we able to understand very clearly what is really means inaction. Then this kind of psychological struggle will uh, go away from us again. Exactly. I think you are spot on. I think that is what I was explaining to one of the participants in the beginning uh, about inaction, just to reiterate that. So inaction is not an inaction means uh, you know, some people have understood that as an another type of action. That is the problem, though they mean they are able to understand verbally what is inaction, but they are kind of uh, making a backdoor entry and again trying to do some action again, trying to practice inaction. What we are say, saying is you cannot practice inaction. Inaction means not doing anything, leaving everything as it is. 
drop all actions you know not doing anything at all and simply leaving everything as it is and just you know take not taking any responsibility that is what is called inaction inaction means not doing any action so you cannot practice uh, the inaction here because right because when you if you start practicing if you start thinking about it then which means you are acting again so that is the whole problem that is why there is a conflict between the message which is being conveyed and how uh, how people are trying to uh, implement it implement in their day to day life so inaction means not doing anything at all simply uh, ignoring all responsibilities simply dropping all responsibilities about our psychological system yeah. i understand yeah the other thing was uh, i think it will help everybody that uh, actually in our external world uh, we are always act so we the same action goes to the psychological world also we try to do act there inside also that uh, it is natural i yeah. i think i was so when i when initially when i came on this aya yeah, concept uh, so i was uh, what you said before that i try to watch why everything is all right or not say psychologically am i all right everything i was watching but when i realized that it is again going back in the circle again again then right. when we see that that we are acting on there the moment we see that definitely we will come out the moment we see that we are acting inside uh, continuously that that moment will will be we will be out here exactly i think you're right so why why would someone watch suppose you know if i have a generally we have a watchman for our flats and apartments right why do we have a watchman because we want to secure something you know nobody should enter nobody should steal the things from our house that is why i want to keep a watchman or a security right if i'm okay with everything coming in going out then i don't need a watchman at all so same thing here in the mind only if you want to keep hold of you know get hold of something catch hold of something all the pleasure emotions all the happy emotions and you want to get rid you know take out all the negative emotions only if you are want to choose like some emotions dislike some emotions only if that if you have this kind of attitude then you have to have a watch continuously you have to keep on watching am i doing it correctly or not you have to keep on watching but what we are saying is there is nothing like that you don't have any role to play so anything can come anything can go inside anything can come out so there is no restriction at all in the psychological sense you don't need to have any rules any restrictions it can be completely haphazard so there is no need to watch at all because why are you trying to watch only if you want to correct you have to watch right we are saying there is no need to correct at all it will come to a balanced state on its own that is what we are suggesting okay yeah thank you yeah thank yeah. you just i want to express the understanding that's all yeah thank sure you. sure thank you uh, thank you very much vankatachan i am meeting you oh, good you are done uh, madam tamil arachi she has come i am giving unmute yes tamil arachi you can talk uh, okay sir yeah uh, sir i have two questions sir our ancestors so told summa irutale sugam hmm. is it in action second question is please explain about self awareness self growth and self purification in psychological aspect thank you sir yeah uh, it's all right you yeah, okay yeah. exactly right summa is the term that is used in tamil and that is exactly what we call as what we refer here as inaction inaction is nothing to do summa means there is nothing to you don't have to do anything that's exactly what we are referring to here so no action is required in that perspective so that's the so other thing is self awareness and uh, self uh, improvement or whatever so that is all required in the if it is supporting you in your external world actions you can do all that otherwise self awareness is a, is a general uh, simple english term that you are aware of what is happening that's all right so if you are aware of what is happening then you will be able to act better in the external world so if you are using it for your external world actions for that purpose yes then you can do but otherwise here you don't have to be aware of your emotions or thoughts every moment because what we are saying is anyway this is not under control whether you are aware or not aware this is not under your control you don't have any role here what your focus should be only on your actions that is where you have a role so simply shift your focus there that is what we are suggesting hello Oh, one minute. Whether she has muted herself, I'll just have to find out. Yes, she has muted. I'll give the unmute. Uh, madam, you have to go. 
unmute yourself also to continue the discussion. Okay. Uh, yeah, please yeah. continue. Uh, uh, thank you, sir. Okay. Sir, uh, uh, one, one more, sir. Yeah. Sir, if we have self purification, mm. we should know. Uh, I should know what I am. So, okay. self purification is very essential part in our life, isn't it, sir? Mm. Yeah. True. So here, actually, indirectly, we are achieving that only here because, as I said, the water when there are ripples, what do we do? If you keep on poking your hand, putting your hand inside that water. Then you will only disturb the flow. It will not get purified. It will not get settled. Dust. Suppose if there is dust on the in the water, if you keep on, um, you know, mixing the water, stirring the water, then the dust will continue to be to remain in the surface. Only if you allow it, then dust will settle down and the water will become still and purified. So same thing is happening here. If you allow the mind to function on its own, then all those impurities also get balanced and it gets settled on its own. You know, and then it comes to a stand. It comes to a a balanced state on its own you don't have to do anything so so it will also start purifying on its own because once you stop acting then it will do a self purification action also will happen there but you cannot uh, keep that as the target and try to do something because if you have that as a target in your as a name in your mind then you will again start act, acting against your own psychological system so that is why you know you don't need to act but it will come to a self um, on its own it will come to a self balanced state or self purified whatever you can call it. is that fine i think one minute i think again she has muted uh, sir okay. i'll give unmute uh, yeah. Uh, yeah 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 okay yeah. sir okay sir thank you sir okay ma'am. okay okay sure okay okay thank you thank you very much Uh, Sanjay Srivastava from okay. Rajasthan has come back and mute. Yes, G. Uh, uh, hello, Anandji. Yes, sir. Uh, so, uh, when I think uh, uh, one lady was asking a question, I think Manju was asking and she uh. was. Uh, understandably quite disturbed mm -hmm. so at the end of that you told that uh, yes a hundred percent solution is possible through this yeah. teaching and that uh, kind of sounded uh, negation of the teaching in the sense that it sets an expectation that okay psychological state can be set right okay yeah uh, let me explain um, as I just, I think I was just explaining the same, same thing for uh, Tamil Rasi madam. She asked a similar question, I think, how to purify whatever. So mind comes to a self-purification mode. It happens on its own. That is why, so as, as I said, the water example, if you allow it, it will settle down. All the dust will also settle down and then you will get a pure still water, right? Same thing also happens here. If you allow it to flow on its own, then you are... If you stop your uh, disturbance and interaction, just, you know, intervention in the whole flow, then it will come to a, a balanced state on its own. And then that friction, I think I explained to you the other day as well, that problems, external world problems may remain. The difference between a person who is understood and a person who is not understood is that if there is an external world problem, then it will be like a, uh, for an example, the impact will be very huge. It will be like a snake bite, right? Once if you have a snake bite, then I will not be able to attend anything. I will have to drop everything and rush to the hospital, right? I will be a slave to that emotion, right? External world problems. But once you understand, then things will flow on a very um, smooth, there will be a very smooth flow. It will not even disturb you. It will be like a, an ant bite or a mosquito bite. Just to give an analogy, I'm saying, once you understand and allow it to free flow, allow this mind to flow completely, give full freedom to this mind, then it will be like a mosquito bite. Even though there is a big problem uh, happening in the external world, then the impact will not be there. So you will be able to act on your own choice, whether to attend to that or whether to do this, that, whatever is your choice, whatever is right for that moment, you will be able to do. That's the biggest uh, benefit. So since there is no clash happening between what is happening in reality in your psychological system and what do you expect to happen since there is no such clash, 
then things will be running smooth so the problem is we are interfering that is where the whole problem if you if you take away this disturbance and this intervention our intervention then things were already running smooth only there was no problem at all it is because we have we thought that somehow we have come to a mistake uh, by a mistaken understanding that i have to set right this mind i have to set right this whole emotions and thoughts everything then we start intervening in this whole system but we were always happy during childhood when we didn't have this knowledge that i have to interrupt right a child will be completely liberated liberated state right free state he will not try to catch hold of any emotions or he will not try to get rid of any emotions he will be completely in line alignment with what is happening inside right that is the state which we are we are trying to arrive at by doing this by ignoring this whole uh, by taking no responsibility or by not taking any responsibility that is the state we are going back to our innocent state then all problems get sorted out all whatever problems you have in this world everything will get sorted out not the external world problems i am talking about whatever is happening here inside us so in a way indirectly by not doing anything you are solving the problem also that is what i was trying to explain you can put it in whichever way this is like you know we just we can argue it from either side of it so it is just a perspective you are just seeing it from here and there is also a perspective where we can see it from here that's that's what i was trying to explain her okay thank you yeah hey okay thank you very much anjay muting you uh next ji uh, one i think the machine name uh, uh, yeah machine name itself is there i am giving an mute uh please tell your name and also tell from which place you are calling sir uh, i am gopal krishnan from kalpakam sir yes sir oh, good i am gopal krishnan from kalpakam yeah prasid uh, is there any connection between prana and thing or thought yeah so pranayama okay yeah thought yes there may be some connection as i understand Uh, but those are all related to more of uh, you're trying to fine tune your mind and it is more of part of the yogic practices you know for yoga practices you know that yes. comes under that yes sir what we are suggesting here is uh, all those are not required because what we are suggesting here is in a simple intellectual understanding of our psychological system what role we play what role we have what are the do's and don'ts if you simply understand that then that is enough so this yoga or pranayama etc has nothing to do with the uh, enlightenment part of it so what we are talking about is enlightenment and liberation so it's a little different that that way okay sir. yeah okay uh, giving unmute okay is done unmuting sir tamil arasi and mute okay sir yeah madam uh, sir uh, sir Yeah. another question sir only one question mm -hmm. we have parent adult and child role within us how can we stabilize them this is my question sir thank you okay. i unmute sir okay you can be you can be un unmute also you can no problem till you finish your okay. so stabilize basically you are saying how do we act effectively that's how i understand your question so so that is just an external action everybody will have that challenge and you will have to balance that so there is no uh, you know i cannot talk say think of a sing, you know simple formula which will apply to everybody right if there is a specific situation then probably if i have any suggestions i can give that but i think our focus should be more on trying to understand our psychological system once we are psychologically free inside as i was just explaining to somebody else our focus will shift from the psychological system towards the external external um, activities then you will be able to operate more efficiently even some ideas also will come you know you may not even um, you may not even be able to think about those ideas suddenly it, even some ideas will come on its own because one moment you start focusing on your external activity on how to do it the best way in the best manner how to do it better you start thinking on those lines automatically mind will also support you with some ideas and some you know different kind of thinking and all those things will start coming on its own so using that you should be able to manage your activities in a better way your external activities whether it is a relationship or work or whatever it is anything can be managed in a better way okay 
Uh, she has she says gone. okay. Okay. Uh, she says okay. Yeah. Okay, fine. <laughs> uh, Sendil from Singapore is waiting. Okay. And we'll go unmute. Yes. Uh, good evening, Babula sir. Good evening, uh, Anand sir. Yes. Sir. Uh, good evening, Sendil ji. Happy to see you here. <laughs> yes, sir. Thank you. Um, so my, my question, I don't know, it's not really a question. I just want some confirmation from you. Okay. Um, after listening to the talk from Aya, Mr. Saron, and, um, and uh, Giovanni, sir, then you, I, I, I have been attending all these talks, English and Tamil both. Sure. Um, so now what I uh, have come to uh, conclude is that um, there is nothing much really I need to do internally. So I, I'm just leaving it as it is. But there are some momentual um, reactions, for example, getting angry, uh, doing something. Um, for example, if I recall some memories, and then I just start talking about that myself, those sort of habitual things or, or those um, things um, appear once in a while, and, and I tend to react. Then after that, I realize, okay, these are some external actions that I need to do, uh, then I do. Otherwise, um, there is really nothing much to do. Uh, that's what I, I realized. So that's why my number of questions have also come down. I do not have that many questions now because all end up in the same situation. Yeah, there is nothing much I need to do. I'm trying to do something internally. Uh, so uh, that's where I am now. Is, is, that a, is that a correct understanding or is that something that I'm, <laughs> I'm doing something yeah. differently? No, no, you're uh, perfectly right. So in fact, I will put it as, I'll reword it as nothing much to do. It's not nothing much to do, nothing to do at all, actually. Nothing to do at okay. all as far as your psychological uh, system is concerned. So that's how I will put it. And uh, because of habit, if it comes, yes, that is fine. No problem. As long as well, once you realize that, you know, oh, I'm doing something else type, you know, realize that you are anyway going into the right track of focusing on your activities, right? So that's exactly yeah. needs to be done. Mind on its own, suddenly, even after its understanding, it may still, because of your habit of 30 years, 40 years, whatever has been, it will try to sometimes, you know, as you said, once in a while, yes, it will do that. So that's, you don't mind about that because it is happening again in spite of your understanding beyond your control, right? You are not trying to do that, right? Mm. Which is perfectly fine. I think you have understood perfectly fine. Okay, sir. Thank you. So yeah. um, just a continuation to that. Um, there was a situation two days back. Uh, my wife told me something. Uh, of course, I, I started teasing her, but I think went to the extreme. So I was doing it for many days, I think two or three days. So she got upset about it. Then yesterday she started getting angry. Of course, this is uh, human, human uh, nature. Uh, so I realized that I had done, overdone it. Um, so what I did actually at the time when she mentioned something, I wanted to react. Basically, I wanted to get angry. Mm -hmm. uh, then, and then this this process came to my mind, then I decided to keep quiet. Um, and this, my ego was really uh, very much ready to fight. But um, uh, I, I kept, uh, kept quiet. So in this sense, basically, though internally this trigger or, or this process of uh, triggering my anger is happening, but externally, I made a decision not to react to it. Uh, is that correct? Yeah, so externally, that is correct. Internally, anyway, you cannot do anything. Suppose anger comes on its own also, it will still come. But the expression, only if you justify, and if you just if you justify that, yes, I have the authority, I have the power to express my anger, I have the power to um, express my disappointment, whatever. Only if you have that feeling, only if you justify and come to the decision, that you will express, right? Otherwise, in, if it is some stranger or if it is some important VIP, then you will not express. Even though you may be angry, you may still feel that anger for some reason, but you will not express. You will put it in a polite way, in a sugar-coated way. That's how we will react, right? We all do that way, only, right? So it's just that uh -huh. only that importance of that relationship or sometimes it could be even because of your, um, you may have the, what should I say, the freedom or the right because if it's a really close relationship, you will not mind, right? You will freedom. You will free to. You will be really free to express whatever you felt like. So after that, once you realize that yes, I've done something bad. Yes, you should also be free to apologize. You should also be free to express your apologies and try to correct it, try to amend it. Then they will also understand that yes, okay, maybe he has reacted in that moment. After that, he has realized and uh, he has uh, asked for an apology. They will try to understand slowly. 
so that's how we can correct it i mean we cannot put a gate and try to control and from tomorrow onwards i will not express any anger that may not be possible so you have to come to that uh, come to the terms and try to have a balanced uh, state in the external actions sure sir thank you sir yeah <clears throat> okay uh sendil uh, i just can share uh, about uh, asking question uh, when i met first uh, yeah it was 2013 was the first uh, camp at uh, selam when i spoke for 10 minutes we spoke for 20 minutes that means 20 times i mean two times there then it has uh, once the understanding comes it dies uh, fully it started uh, dying down and completely it uh, died on that occasion sure. okay then uh, prem kumar i am giving you unmute yes sir yes sir uh, hello sir yes go ahead yeah 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 sir uh, only one question is there uh, usually our body having a very good knowledge about uh, that uh, what is happening in our body it used to tell in a very good way um, there is a one thing called headaches sir when we do something wrong with our body then the headache used to indicate that you are doing something wrong i feel so when i used to do some work i used to get some headache then i feel okay i used to go for sleep then the headache used to go out there is the, any correlation is there sir for sleeping and headache i i i know that i'm doing something wrong like i'm doing over over studying or seeing the laptop for long time some sometime headache used to come then i am okay. immediately going for sleep so there is any correlation sir between the sleep and headache mm-hmm. okay <laughs> could be tell, sir <laughs> no could be but i think uh, the right person will be to you know talk to somebody like uh, you know umar farooq or dilip baskar etc because they oh, have okay, a correct idea okay, okay. on the health related uh, aspects that's right. oh okay 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 yeah. fine fine just just asking sir sorry sure. thank you sure okay uh, venkatesh venkatesh from nigeria has come and giving unmute uh, yeah one more thing was coming when sometimes before uh, i read a uh, book uh, this our our nature actually our nature is uh, hiding inside our mind it is there in deep down when the situation comes because of the conscious mind and other mind they were i was um, differentiating it so that time the, our true nature sorry our nature which is already deep down in our mind according to the situation even it express then only we can know our our nature what is inside our mind so that time that can that can be taken if it is useful for external it can be taken otherwise we can leave it like that that i understand but that true nature that is our our uh, in depth which is which is there our nature so that uh, it is it is it is i am responsible for that or um, just is a general question i am asking am, am i the responsible for that all the nature which is in my uh, deep down my mind area yeah so when you say i am uh, it is the conditioning or the environment that you you were brought up with so that is what there is no uh, there is no permanent i also right as you know already because yeah, i yes, also yes. is part of the thought so it is you can instead you can say the conditioning or the way you have been brought up so some somebody will have some kind of qualities just based on that you will develop some nature as you call uh, yes um, in fact when you said uh, if it is not useful leaving it means i mean you are not leaving it means there is nothing to leave as an action because there is nothing to do that's all so you can actually uh, stri- you know in fact uh, strike off that leaving part also whenever is needed just simply act if, it, if there is something useful in the external action just use that that's all after that nothing to do that's all you don't even have to say leaving it because again it can be treat it can be uh, mistook mistaken as an action okay that's why i'm just trying to be careful that's all okay yeah and uh, this this question i feel uh, to think to ask uh, but any i not ask uh, yeah so actually when a person is uh, the state of mind is in an enlightenment state so what could be the the person uh, response to the external world 
because he is not going to fight with him psychologically inside the world the psychological world he is completely free so what would be the state of mind for that person and uh, how actually i am uh, i am wrong to wrong to ask this question i feel like that and i am asking mm -hmm. question also uh, that how can we confirm that person is enlightened that uh, this, this person for example let us take it myself itself yeah. so that there is no measure that we cannot measure that this, I, can, I am enlightened so there, is there any any sign that i am asking yeah. i cannot say conclusion I, is there any sign okay uh, no specific sign but uh, maybe if we talk to them and try to understand you know what are their how do they see uh, their psychological system etc i mean according to this concept i'm saying how do they understand their psychological system what is that think about their roles and you know where they can play a role etc if we try to speak to them and try to understand their views on that yes we can try to say that uh, so the difference is um, the, i mean the enlightened means then you are not in conflict with your natural system the, which is which is flowing inside you are not in conflict with yourself you are not fighting with yourself when you are not in conflict with yourself that's what that is what uh, that is the state we are calling about right when you have understood that you don't have any control you will not be in conflict with your own self that is the understanding which we are talk which we are calling as enlightenment here so if you are not in conflict with your own self then that is it that is what we are saying okay yeah. that means it is a individual uh, this thing you can call it take it yeah. because yeah, it is it natural is. it is you as you as, as i am saying everybody has this natural state of mind everybody possess when we came as a child everybody has it so they can they can feel it and then they can realize their own as an individual yeah correct everybody can assess this and they will be able to understand on their own uh, you know people once you are once you have dropped all these uh, conditions or responsibility you know once you are out of this conflict then that is what we call as enlightenment that understanding is what we call as enlightenment okay yeah thank you yeah thank you yeah Okay, thank you very much. Meeting you. Uh, Tamil Nadu CC has come and I'm unmuting. Okay. Okay, sir. Uh, okay, sir. Uh, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Uh, sir, from your answer, I find that we have emotional intelligence to balance the external situation. Is it correct, sir? Emotional intelligence, is it? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, I mean, you don't have to call. Yeah, if you want to call emotional intelligence, that's fine. Yes, we have intelligence to handle our external situation. So we have to use it in a better way. That's all. I mean, that level of intelligence might be, uh, you know, less and more in some people depends on depending on their knowledge and their uh, talent, skills, etc. Okay. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much. Anybody else want to raise the question and discuss with uh, Prem Kumar? You are waiting or? I am not unmuted, I think. Yeah. Anybody who wants to raise the question on behalf of them, on behalf of their friends? So good that everybody is uh, looking for others to ask the question. Mm -hmm. Sanjay ji has come. Unmute. So, Anand ji, actually this uh, question is uh, regarding that, uh, as we say that, as you said that all of us, uh, we were innocent in our childhood. Yeah. And then now everybody has this misunderstanding or whatever you say that. Yeah. So, this is universal across the cultures and everybody has got it so uh, it is there so it is a natural outgrowth so it is uh, uh, it must be 
serving some purpose this misunderstanding or whatever we call it that uh, that illusion that we have control over our uh, our thoughts or and emotions so that is that misunderstanding is with everyone so unless it is uh, if it is uh, really not beneficial for anyone then why it is there yeah so um the point is all this is required for your external activities or for your survival that the taking your uh, taking things under control and your intelligence all this is required for your survival and external action so the only problem is they are using that against your own self so you can you can fight against the external activities fight against, for example just for an example i'm saying you can fight against somebody else but you cannot fight against your own self that is the problem here right that is why everybody is stuck yes you may call that it is a natural but it is more of a conditioning given by the society right because we have been taught from childhood wrongly because nobody everybody has that same understanding see um, where will you understand all these natural um, what should i say this uh, conditioning or whatever is coming from the surrounding only right what however you have wherever you have brought up in whatever situation nobody has this and come to this understanding so that is how you will also understand and that is how you will also try to apply whatever is required in the external action you are applying the same logic here in the internal system also that is the only problem that is why people who have understood or we call them as nanis or enlightened people who are right from you know people like buddha over ramana maharishi etc so all of them have understood something different from whatever other people have understood or some something different right so that is what we are trying to make it as in a scientific in a logical way here trying to give it an intellectual way so that that uh, conditioning i can understand that okay that conditioning is there in one society and in fact nowadays all societies are in a way interconnected but it is only very recent phenomena maybe a hundred years or two hundred years back societies were not so interconnected and uh, uh, there even now there are some tribes uh, who are living uh, isolated uh, on some uh, isolated uh, continent or something like that so how is it that even those societies who are not connected or at least they were not connected in past everywhere this uh, conditioning is universal yeah so one is uh, so i do not know see it is about we are talking about some thousands and thousands of years of history and all so we do not know whether those isolated people are really uh, they are also conditioned or not we do not know first of all so it is just a hypothetical thing but what we are trying to say here is the natural way of functioning is this if you allow natural nature to function on its own then the problem is solved we don't even have to question you know whether this conditioning however it comes you know as per your logic whether it has come through conditioning or whichever way natural way whatever way it is there is something you are trying to do manually right but what we are saying is you don't need to do that action that extra effort is not needed is what we are saying without that effort itself problem is getting solved then why do we need to put that extra effort you can be free you can free and you can be completely free and do your external activities with with this complete freedom that is what we are saying wherever however it happens that is not you know we don't need to bother about that also right but what we are talking about is the solution which is available here so you can use that and be free be psychologically free that is what we are suggesting right yeah okay yeah okay. i mean that is what they call uh, that avidya is uh, anadi yeah ignorance doesn't have any beginning correct correct could be here okay anybody else who want to raise the question or discuss with anand good amla rasi ji she has come back and mute uh sir uh, even yeah. buddha gets wisdom and enlightenment he says mm -hmm. i will come to the earth to fulfill my debts d e b t s yeah if buddha has self struggle in him this is my question sir no he should, i mean uh, buddha as in as in definition he should not be he will not be in conflict with his, his own self 
I mean, assuming that uh, he is enlightened, then that's what we are also trying to say. Okay. So, I got a question now? I don't think. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> hmm. Anybody has got question? Good. So there are no questions now. Yeah. Even in the chat also there is no question. Good. Shekhar Dhraisami has come, but let us see whether he is ready to ask any question. Shekhar ji, you want to ask question? You can raise your hand and then join. Anybody wants to raise the question? Uh, nobody there. Chat some to some ideas possible. Thank you very much. Nothing much. So, uh, uh, yes, yes. A doctor has come. I think his name is uh, Ramaya, I think. I will give unmute. Uh, so, doctor, you tell your name and as well as the place where, from which you are uh, calling from. Mute. You also have to do the unmute. It will come on the screen. It will come on the screen, doctor, that uh, you have to give the unmute, then only you will be able to discuss here. able to do. No. Hmm. Yes, uh, he wants to talk, but he is unable to give the unmute from his end. Okay. okay, fine. Anybody else who wants to raise the question? So it is almost a uh, lot of hours now. Yeah. So what do we do now? There are no questions which are coming up. So do we have mine now? Okay. Yes, we can. I will try one, one more, doctor. Unmute. Doctor, you unmute? So we will wind it up. So on behalf of all the participants, I thank Ananji thank for his valuable uh, program. Thank you very much. So I stop recording.